Burden here from Asphalt Kingdom. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee at the National Pavement Expo 2020. And we have 2020 vision on right now. I'm here with an awesome dude named Chris Bishop. I'm from Precision Sealers, Asphalt Sealers, Precision Asphalt Sealers. Been in the business one year. One year, everybody. And he's standing here right now on a second story in an administrative private office right now that you can't just get access to. And he's overlooking the National Pavement Expo exhibition. It's beautiful. That's one year, man. That's one year. Look, when you originally started, right? Like when you originally had this thought that went into your head about starting in the business, what was that? Like why did that happen? Tell people about why that happened. The drive, the motivation, some of the history of the background I had in the industry. Um, I just wanted to pursue it and uh, blow it out of the ballpark and just crush it. But why did you get involved? Why? Was it your, your family? Was it friends? Who, who got you involved with that? Um, I worked previously with some other contractors and uh, wanted something different. Went off on my own and uh, obviously a support the family. Um, took the leap and uh, now that's where we're here now. We're here, here now. You are here now. So when you originally started in the business, did you start with like buckets, like five gallon pills and rollers, squeegees, brushes, or did you start with a spray system? How did you get started? Started with a um, squeegee, a bucket, and a truck. Moved up to uh, uh, drum the AK spray. system, yeah. the AK-55 drum tote system. And from there, just progress and progress. And now this next year, we're uh, looking to move up bigger equipment and uh, just knock it out of the ballpark. So you guys, you guys essentially, what I'm understanding is that you started out, you had this dream about starting in the business. You went out, you got a squeegee, you Absolutely. got buckets of sealer, and then you went out and you did something with that squeegee and the buckets of sealer, right? You went to sell a job? Right. How did you sell that job? Uh, door to door. Knocking on doors. Uh, knocking on doors. It's uh, just getting out there, focus on the customer and uh, the drive, the drive to succeed, door by door. You know what we kind of call it? Like when I was when I went when I used to knock on doors a lot. The way I, I, I said it was kind of march or die. If you don't knock, knock on the doors, if you're not willing to walk and have that dedication and that determination to truly be able to communicate with people, right. then nothing will happen. Absolutely. As an example, just earlier, you walked up to the booth. I was standing at the booth and we started to talk. We engaged, right, in conversation. Right. And now we're standing here. Right. Having this conversation. Absolutely. In life, you got to make decisions to commit to something and to follow through and do it. And during that, during that journey, during that process, you're going to have adversity and challenge that you'll be confronted with and you're going to fall down. But it's people around you that will allow you to pick yourself back up and know that you're a part of a team, a part of a movement that actually is wanting the best for you. And that's what you really need to think about is as you're getting involved with this kind of a business, just like Chris when he's starting out, man, it's not the bucket of sealer or the squeegee or the spray system that he bought or this next big air operated spray system that he's gonna buy and then multiple rigs. It's not about the equipment and the supplies. Right. It's about the dedication. The drive. The, the drive, right? Right? Right. Absolutely. What would be your best advice to, you know, to somebody that's starting out in the business? What would be your best advice? Like somebody right now who's watching this video right now, what's the best advice from you? What should they do? I would say go out there, do what you gotta do, knock on the doors, start small. Don't go don't think big. Start small and progress and just have that drive and it's gonna come. Time time will give you it. Absolutely. Right. right. Yeah, that, that persistence is super important. And I think too, it's just knowing, again, like there's a song and I'm not gonna sing it because I have a terrible voice, but it's like, lean on me. Lean on me right? when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for. Right, I'm a terrible singer, but the reality of it is that song right there is it. Right. And like if you're going through some challenges in the future with like say some bigger com commercial jobs that you need help bidding on and you reach out to me and you say, hey Judd, listen man, I, I need some help on, on bidding this project. What kind of market values do we have in this area, right. this and that, you know? Or maybe I don't know how to do a certain service or I'm not, a, you know, I'm not offering that service right now. Well, Jake Abernathy might have the infrared solution for you. Right. Lean on me 
when Absolutely. you're in nachos, right? One hand shakes so that, another hand. That is that is where in this in this in this world in this journey in this opportunity, we have the ability to connect to people that will help you through this journey. And again, if you fall down, you know you're going to be more powerful getting up when people are raising you up. Right. You know. And I think that that's an incredible thing. What kind of dreams do you have? Like, where do you want to go with this business this year? What do you want to do? Man, you want to double your business. Double my double double the business. I uh, want to have a fleet, a bigger fleet. Um, want to go into more commercial. I uh, really really want to go big. Um, it's happening. It's just a matter of time. Um, and without that drive, that dedication, support by uh, Asphalt Kingdom and everything and your videos are amazing the BYOBB if I said that wrong I apologize yeah no it's right but your videos um, for anybody that's starting to get in the industry go to your YouTube Um, I love them I follow them they were a blessing I appreciate that very much and yeah the BYOBB is like build your own business blueprint it gives you some structure and framework to be able to get going Chris, I'm going to give you a piece of advice, and I want people watching this to also get this advice and hopefully reflect on it. In life, we set sometimes sometimes we set goals that can be really really ambitious, right. and they can be what we call a marathon goal. I don't think I could go and run a marathon right now, but I could certainly set sprint goals up, short right. term goals that allow me to achieve those short term goals. What I recommend to you is if you're setting financial goals for your company. Let's say it's a million bucks, let's say it's two million bucks, whatever the number is. Make sure that you're taking that number and working backwards to understand what your average order, what your average job size needs to be, right. and how many of them they need, how many of those you need in order to achieve that number. Right. Because you can only knock on a certain amount of door residential doors per day. Very true. Which means that if your average order, your average job size is a thousand dollars, let's just say, you need a thousand jobs in order to reach your million. Right. Whereas a commercial lot that's ten thousand dollars, you know, you know, you need a hundred of those jobs, right? right? Ten thousand times a hundred. So what I recommend to everybody is, when you're setting those goals, know that this community, we're here to kind of work backwards from the goal that you're setting, and let's set realistic goals in our businesses, so that as we're doing that, we're not getting down on ourselves for not reaching something that might have been set outside of a boundary that was possible. Right. So I want to, as I you're totally doing this, I totally agree with that. Yeah. I totally agree with that. So as you're rolling into year two, man, I want you to know like there's there's not just myself standing on this balcony right now. Right. There's another freaking awesome dude that's standing on the far side right there. Right there. Great in <laughs> Hamilton from Orca Asphalt Maintenance. Oh. Great in Hamilton. An absolutely incredible dude. And he's been in the business, you know, he's in the striping business a long right. time. He knows the business well. My son's actually working with him. Like, they're awesome dudes. So I know that like you can Lean right. on him okay. when you're not strong, <laughs> but for for real, right? Right. Like that's right. that's it. Like let's 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 all collaborate and communicate so right. that you can achieve those goals. Flex your muscles and say, "Man, I did this with everybody." And then when guys come to your place and spend the weekend with you or whatever and want to learn from you, you're passing on that torch. You got to pay right. it forward, right? Right. Absolutely. And that's what we all do. That's why I'm standing here, spending this time, bro. Because honestly. I want to give as much as I can to you so you can give another person something else and then they can give something else so we can impact this industry positively for the rest of our lives. And right. that's what we need to do now. Absolutely. Cool. Precision, asphalt sealers, man, it's just an absolute pleasure to be here at the NP 2020 with you. And I cannot wait to be standing here, right in the same spot, 2021. Mark my words, everybody, 2021, he'll be telling a much different story than what he's telling right now. Absolutely. Over and out.